Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to target elements by class using jQuery. Uh, you see how we made all of your button elements bounce? We selected them with uh, bling button. Then we added some CSS classes to them with add class animated bounce. You just use jQuery's add class function, which allows you to add classes to elements. First, let's target your div elements with the class well by using the dot well. We know because it's a period, it has to do with a class, right? Because classes are made up of multiple periods. The dot well selector. Note that just like with CSS declarations, you type a period before a class's name. Remember, just like when you're in school, you're cl you, every class had different periods, and so that's how I remember it. IDs are the pound key, which I don't have a good recommendation or a good memory tool for, but um, once you remember classes, it's easier to remember IDs. When then use jQuery's add class function to add the classes animated and shake. For example, you could make all the elements with the class text primary shake by adding the following to your document. Document ready function. Text primary. So where, what, what's text primary? Uh, here we have an H3 element, which is a text primary. Okay, I think that's all. And it says jQuery Playground. So what, we, what this would do, if we put this in here, is it would cause the uh, jQuery Playground, which is right here, to uh, animated shake. And so yeah, let's run it. Look at that, it, it shakes back and forth. Okay, cool. Um, we don't need to put that in there for now. Uh, we should use jQuery add class function to give the classes animated and shake to all your elements within the class of well. So um, nice. I'm going to actually expand this so it's easier to read. And I'm, I guess some people might think that it's annoying that I always <clears throat> make a point of making code more legible, but uh, I don't care because I think that it's intelligent to start practicing the way that you'll work. Now, um, so here's the well, and if I highlight the div, it'll highlight these, and then I've got these three buttons in there. Here's one well, and then down here we've got the right well. So we've got left well here and the right well down there. Um, and what we want to do is we want to add a jQuery add class function to give the classes animated to all your elements with the case well. So what we want to do is go, first off we want to select the wells, right? So we go dot because it's the class distinction. You see the wells are a class. They're not the ID and they're not this main thing. We, so we want to do select class and then we're going to select well. And then we're going to um, add the class and we want to go animated and then shake and now you'll see that they shake as they go and it's actually the whole well um, another thing I mean one thing that I think is helpful is I would say I would create a variable if I wanted to add multiple classes um, you could go uh, we could let well um, equal pound dot well and then we can move this down here and we could go uh, well dot add class and then we could just do animated and then we could go well dot add class shake uh, I missed made a lowercase it needs to be a capital case and you see with this one it actually uh, does works the exact same well way and so what using a variable you can use a variable to save your selector if we were to console.log uh, the well we would see down here we would see that we've got uh, zero one, like one and two elements of well and then so it's just the same sort of jQuery selector um, and so here we're adding the class twice um, I don't think that this will pass the tests oh it does so here's one way you could write it. This is uh, the long, very inefficient way, I suppose. Um, another thing you can do is you can put both uh, animations within the same CSS class. And uh, the console log is not actually necessary. I'm just doing that to show you what the well has become. Um, this is another way you could pass the test. This is also just as well. Uh, and then um, finally, you don't actually have to save it as a variable. You could just add the class directly to the jQuery selector, and it would work the exact same way. But I think it's helpful to see the way that these things work and realize that this is the selector and then this is the part that adds the... This is the selector, so it gets this group and this group of buttons. The, and the well is this gray area around it. And then we add this class to it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, wow. Animated shake. 
And uh, yeah, for some reason, the J- JavaScript gets messed up sometimes when I submit, but I, it was the same code. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.